your personal life or exploiting your personal life as entertainment. I think people are so brainwashed. You get up in the morning, you click on the computer, you see all these pictures, and all you think of is the picture and the image that you see all day, every day. And you don't see the human form. You know, all the things that really, it's not your business. Daytime tea time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. All right, everybody, so let's get right on into it. The topic of today is hashtag NSARS. Shout out to all of my Nigerian subscribers. I really appreciate all of you coming into my DMs and my emails and giving me a lot of information about what's going on in Nigeria. So we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about some controversy about celebrities speaking up about SARS. Recently, an artist by the name of Tiwa Savage spoke out and she called Beyonce out for not speaking out about hashtag in SARS and judged her for using Nigerian artists in her last project Black is King but not speaking out about everything going on with SARS in Nigeria. In so many words Beyonce was pretty much bullied into making a post and Beyonce's mother Miss Tina Lawson she had a lot to say. Yes Miss Tina y'all know we love a good Miss Tina Lawson clapback and she spoke out specifically about Tiwa Savage. We're gonna get into all of that don't worry. I definitely do want to take a moment and discuss disbanding SARS and the wave of protests that have spread throughout Nigeria. SARS stands for Special Anti-Robbery Squad and it's a special unit of the Nigerian police that was created to be dedicated to fighting against highly violent crimes. However, over time they have become the perpetrators of highly violent crimes, abusing their power by hurting the very Nigerian citizens that they were supposed to be protecting. Some of my Nigerian subscribers sent me this website called nsars.com and on the website there are five demands listed that Nigerian citizens feel will help in SARS. Starting with number one, immediate release of all arrested protesters. Number two, justice for all deceased victims of police brutality and appropriate compensation for their families. Number three, setting up an independent body to oversee the investigation and prosecution of all reports of police misconduct within 10 days. Number four, in line with the new police act, psychological evaluation and retraining training to be confirmed by an independent body of all disbanded SARS officers before they can be redeployed. And number five, increase police salary so that they are adequately compensated for protecting lives and property of citizens. On this website, you can also find multiple comments and stories from Nigerian citizens who have experienced specific police brutality by SARS. Nigerian citizens telling multiple stories about situations they went through where the officers have detained them and also extorted money from them for their freedom. Multiple very sad stories, but you should be informed to know exactly what is going on in Nigeria, directly from Nigerian citizens. My thoughts and prayers are with all of the citizens of Nigeria and all of those who are affected by SARS and all police brutality all over the world. Below this video, I'm gonna link some information for you guys to look at so that you can become more informed. Here in America, as a black woman, as an African-American person of color, whatever you wanna call us, we've been fighting this fight against police brutality for a very, very long time. For people like myself, people of color, seeing that type of devastation in Nigeria, it's not a new concept to us. It's a hard situation for us to fight because unfortunately, it just will not be dismantled and ended overnight. We have to become more informed and do our parts. And speaking of doing our parts, there's been a lot of criticism all over social media about celebrities who are not speaking up about SARS and police brutality. Beyonce was one of the celebrities that was heavily criticized for not speaking up on social media. And the person who criticized Beyonce for not speaking up is an artist by the name of Tiwa Savage. I want to use my platform right now to call Beyonce. I'm calling on Beyonce and her team the same way they use their platform and so grateful for that. The same way they use their platform to elevate and to show the world that black is king and how beautiful Afrobeat and Africa and our culture is. I want them to please use their voice and their platform right now because this same country that birthed this genre is on fire right now it is on fire where these creatives are from is on fire so 
I'm calling on Beyonce and the whole team. And I'm telling you, you cannot ignore this. You cannot be quiet. She took to social media and she basically felt like someone like Beyonce who worked on the project Black is King working with Nigerians. She basically felt like Beyonce, where are you? Why aren't you speaking up? Why aren't you helping? And in my opinion, no disrespect to Tiwa, I just feel like that's not her place to say that. It's nobody's place to tell somebody else when to speak up for any type of cause. Especially somebody like Beyonce who we know is known for doing everything behind the scenes. Every type of activism does not have to be on social media. Just because we don't know about it does not make it insignificant. Beyonce has donated millions and millions of dollars through her foundation so for her to put something on Instagram is not a necessity just for our curiosity or to make us feel good. I'm just saying. I said what I said. However, Tiwa Savage felt otherwise and she spoke up on it and Beyonce's mother had a very lengthy response taking up for Beyonce as well as other celebrities who do not have to use social media in order to make change. The first response actually came from Beyonce's publicist Yvette Noel. She said, not all activists live on social media, not all doers look for validation nor approval. Not all work is for a photo op. Make it normal to stop judging people's actions based on posts. Posts don't make you an activist. Activist. Actions make you an activist, whether in the background or out in the streets. We all choose different paths to get it done. Blessed are those who do not see, yet they believe. Actions speak louder than words. Stop judging. After all of the social media conversation about Tiwa Savage calling Beyonce out, Beyonce did end up taking to her Instagram to make a post about hashtag NSARS. And then Beyonce's mother, Miss Tina Lawson, took to her Instagram to respond to everyone who pretty much bullied Beyonce in to making a post. And she spoke out about her frustration with Tiwa Savage blasting Beyonce on social media when she has a direct relationship with Beyonce's team. Beyonce's mother started by saying good morning and letting everyone know how sad she is about the incident that happened in Lagos. She talked about SARS and she talked about the fact that she's been educating herself about SARS. Miss Tina Lawson went forward to say that SARS came to her attention last week and immediately she posted about it. She said that she had not heard heard about it before as she has not been following closely on Instagram as she usually does. She said the reason for that is because she's going through serious personal family challenges. As a result, she's only been posting things that are funny to make people smile. After doing her research, now she understands what's going on with SARS. And she also went on to point out that here in America, we are going through a very similar situation. People of color being disproportionately stopped, harassed, jailed, and sometimes killed. She goes forward to give examples examples of what's going on here in America like the no-knock warrant. And then Miss Tina went on to point out the fact that most people are not posting on social media because they're going through actual family issues of their own, like herself. She says, of course, I guess much of the public does not think that we have personal problems in our family. We are supposed to be superhuman and not have loss or health issues or personal problems because our sole purpose is supposed to be of service and humility and take as much abuse from the haters as they choose to put on us. She says, no matter what my daughter does, she is scrutinized and torn apart. She makes a record and uses all African artists, producers, and writers. She's criticized because she didn't get an artist from every country in Africa. She said she makes a film by the way that she does not profit a penny off of because she spent every penny in the budget on making something that celebrates our heritage. She goes forward to say that Beyonce is an artist and she does things that artists do and that she's not a political leader and also not your whipping board. Someone that was on the last project who by the way is in constant contact with her team decided that instead of contacting her team and asking her to post to assist in spreading the word I am appalled that they would get on social media and do it. Why not ask the people you are dealing with all the time on her team? I don't understand that. I'm sure at the time she was not thinking straight because of the trauma that the country was facing, but come on. I have had enough of the hating and am personally tired of the attacks. And it is disgusting how people sit behind a computer and talk crap all day and many of them do absolutely nothing else. It is so easy to post. Don't get me wrong, posting is very important. That's why I do it every day about social issues. It spreads the word and that is important. But everybody has a right to activate in their own way. If we do us and focus on what we can do and not expect Beyonce to do exactly what she is told, 
when you tell her to do it, then we would get it done better. When I made my post, it was not about any group of people and certainly not the Nigerian people. Only the attackers and haters that no matter what she does feel entitled to bully someone and take credit for bullying her to make a statement. By the way, many people are just posting today because it has gone to the next level after last night's tragic events. Are you critics attacking them? Sorry if I offended anyone just trying to make a statement for changing and asking for help. I was not talking to you. Those comments were for the rude attackers that rudely consistently come for us in a vile and abusive way, trying to bully and shame us into submission just like the oppressors. We are not your whipping board. I am not here for it. You do not run me and bully me. I will fight back. You don't take credit for bullying her to post. I pray every day for Nigeria and all countries that are being abused and murdered for the color of their skin. I would do anything to help, but stop with the abuse and stop trying to make her your spokesperson and shaming people for doing things in their own way. All right, so you guys heard what Miss Tina had to say. I completely agree with what she said. When it comes to social media, you cannot tell somebody when to post and how to post. You have to really think about the fact that people have lives, situations that they're dealing with in their own life. So excuse us if we miss a post. Excuse us if we go three or four days off of social media and we miss a huge thing that happens. And then when we don't post, y'all side eye and wondering why we not talking about it. Think about the fact that we're going through something and we might have missed what happened. Let us catch up. I can agree. I really did not know much of what was going on about SARS because I have not been on social media. I got things going on in my own life so I understand what Miss Tina is saying. Let's not judge each other. Let's just do our best to make ourselves aware and others aware without judging them. I'm just saying. I said what I said. And again, I send prayers to all of those who are affected by police brutality all over the world, especially in Nigeria. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this and I wanna know what y'all think. Please comment down below your thoughts about SARS and also your thoughts about Beyonce versus Tiwa Savage. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye. You